Hi, Marvel. Triton, he will do anything and anything and everything to protect his family. So whatever it takes, um, I'm cool under pressure. I'm willing to go in and do the things that maybe some of the other family members wouldn't be willing to do. All right, so Gorgon, he is the head of the Adelan military. And um, he's basically the protector of, of Black Bolt and kind of is in command. And basically every single time that he stomps down, he crits the seismic waves with his hooves and uh, causes destruction. Karnak got his powers when he was a teenager. He sees the flaw in everything and everyone. And he's strong and, um, you know, close to the king and is, you know, has all this sort of stature. Um, but I think underneath that is a missing piece that comes from missing out on growing up as a regular teenager. Well, obviously Triton's green, so he's got the most, you know, extreme teragenesis. So I think he's got a little bit of, I wouldn't say anger, but I think he knows he's a little bit different. And he, uh, especially on Earth, he's a lot more noticeable. So uh, I think that's an interesting thing that Triton has to go through as well, just being green and, you know, having his cousins look almost more human. And then you could say that Gorgon and Karnak are kind of foils to each other. Talk about that relationship a little. Uh, they're comp they're opposites. They They sort of need each other because they're opposites, you know. He's, he's instinct and he's brute power, whereas I'm a sort of, I'm more of a strategist. When they put us in the prosthetics and the costumes and the sets are so amazing, it's, it's almost hard not to be in character because they make us, Marvel makes us into these amazing historic comic book characters and I, don't, I look in the mirror and I was like, wow, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's basically what I, what I got into acting to do. Now, I don't usually talk fashion on the red carpet, but we need to talk about Gorgon's heels and footwear. So okay. tell me a little bit about that process and costuming up for the for the character. Yes, yeah, so basically we started off, we did a uh, prosthetic. So basically I got on high heels, uh, which would start off to be about like six to eight inches around. Like I realized how tall I am now, and I was like, Amy, do you need to get any bit taller than you are now? I'm like, sure, let's just add six inches to it. 